Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. Finally, we're coming back and continuing this uh, playthrough with Dalen Morgona. We are working on the Dampened Spirits quest for the um, Thieves Guild. Now that Malice's position as the owner of Honeybrew Meadery has been secured, I need to find any information explaining how Sabjorn was able to fund this costly operation. Which right now I'm returning to Brynjolf to tell him how it went. So let's do it. And remember, we don't see shit apparently. Got a minute? To say something. That's Malice. Is that Brynjolf? No. I think Brynjolf might be in the bar. He's either in the bar or over in this training area. So we'll check the training area. That's not Brynjolf. Right, we're gonna go check this training area real quick. Oh, yep, there he is. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Been very fortunate for me. To see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild. The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Oh boy. These always are so confusing sometimes. Hi Mercer, how you doing? What's up, buddy? Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Mm -hmm. Found the same marking at Hungbro. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You admire them? They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Right. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gaja lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. Mm. His real name is Gullum I. Where do I begin? Golemai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Oh, okay. yeah? I go back to Brynjolf. You know, I wish that they would just... Huh. Shocking. That is a spot for infinite, <clears throat> infinite arrows, though. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Not to talk to you. Oh, there's our boy. I can't believe Gullum Eye's mixed up in all this. Bro. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. <laughs> Think you give me trouble? He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. Oh boy. Uh, how do I get him to talk then? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, 
He's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Mm. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. Don't kill him. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. So, the ending of my tale, I um. There are thieves, and then there is Gullam Eye. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. Mm -hmm. He's quite crafty. Um. If I get good information from him, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. Right. If you discover Gullam Eye's holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Yeah. What up? So I'm just supposed to follow and then do nothing. <laughs> Alright. Good luck in solitude. Solitude. <laughs> Keep him alive, but remind him who we are. <laughs> I'll get it one of these times. Oh, gosh, not that. Servant of Talos help you today. Sure. I'll take it. What is this place? Hmm. Oh, is that the chapel? I think that's the chapel. Did not get away with it. Alright, well, we have to go to Solitude, which is, if you look here on the map, the complete opposite corner <laughs> of the world. <laughs> So we're gonna take the cart out here if we can. How much money do I got? Oh, I got plenty for that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna take a little trip. I'm not gonna take our horse. I'm gonna take a ride. Usually I would just ride all the way there, but this is a long one. So I think we're gonna take the... No. Take the carriage. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna take this quickly. Need a ride? Yep. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Okay. Can we uh My carriage is the safest way to travel. It won't let me access the menu. I have to fight a dragon. Oh. Ah, oh, 
you son of a... Ow. 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 Oh god. <laughs> I don't even have anything for health? Oh god. Why? Ah. Why? Why? Horse is attacking me. Ah. No. I'm gonna attack my horse. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Can I just get on it? Calm down. Okay. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Okay. <laughs> oh, I was almost not able to hold all of that. Um, store that. Anything really? I mean, that's stolen. Or that. Um. None of these have weight, thankfully. Um. But she didn't need it anymore, okay? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay, I need to go to Solitude, please. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay. <laughs> First time for Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capped off Skyrim. Okay. You probably want someone else. I'm just a stable boy. I don't want any of y'all. I'm gonna go talk to a lizard boy who works down here. Lizard dude. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. You want knives? You want them in your belly? No? Then you stop talking to DJ. Hmm? So, some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. Oh. Hmm. You want knives? You want them in your belly? No? Hold on. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Speak to Golemai. 
Where the frick is Golemite? He's supposed to be around here somewhere. I take care of the horses and the goats and the chickens. Oh. Uh huh. Good for you, kid. I don't know where the heck this Golemite guy is. Not over here, it would seem. And not down there, it was also seen. Hmm. Let's check our map. Oh, he's in solitude. Oh. Okay, so let's go into solitude then. This is a this is a uh, interesting thing. Ulfric Stormcloak escaped the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. Mm. And all Nords! Just gonna slide over there, huh? On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Just go up there and grab all of them. Oh, I can. Sick. <laughs> okay, where? Local map. Further this way. Is he in here? Yes. At least it says he is. Oh. Hello, I'm Gizli. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true. Because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? I acted as a broker for its new owner. I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Um, you know what? I think we'll try to bribe him. Well, what would it take to identify the buyer? Hmm? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. 
I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Even in steel. <laughs> no Firebrand wine yet? How disappointing. Okay, okay. All right. suits me. It's difficult and sometimes... I don't care. Yes. This is the weirdest thing in this game. <laughs> Popping out of the character right now. People just walk up to you and talk to you about what they do. Everyone does it. And it's annoying. The Blue Palace, huh? You want me Got to, keep my eyes open. to break in there? Disrespect me. Cousins out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. I can just go in. Okay. Am I allowed to be here? Favor a steel sword to you. Good choice for slashing or stabbing. Mm -hmm. so, no doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. You are free to leave. Oh, Hello. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? Uh, no. someone to investigate then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town Hafengar's people will always be safe under your eminence rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area dragon bridge is under imperial control this is likely superstitious nonsense perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. oh yes of course you were right Falk, tell captain aldous i said to assign a few extra soldiers to dragon bridge do, do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> they know nothing happened. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet girl. What was that? Huh? God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Uh huh? As he should. Staying safe, I hope. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh? Hey, watch huh? it. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragon Bridge. I don't know. Like, like that kind of thing. That breaks the immersion. What kind of random ass weird person just goes up to other people and be like, I've got what I wanted. Now I can go back to Dragon Bridge. To the Blue Palace. Yep. It's a sight to see. Oh yeah, it's Fops. real pretty. How the frick did I get out of here? Proud Spire Manor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink. There we go. Hmm. If you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Raiment. Ah, I see you have the wine. 
good. I have the wine. I are getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. I'm trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. Okay. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed mm -hmm. a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erengoff for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did you say why? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. However, I did notice she was quite angry. And it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? This Nothing? Business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern... Shadow Golemai. As predicted, my Frey Golemai provided proved to be quite stubborn and refused to reveal any useful information. I have no choice but to shadow him during his daily routine and discover if he's up to anything that could be used as influence to make him divulge the truth. Shadow him. What did he break? There he goes. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh. Nobody clean up that body. It's just going to sit there and rot. Okay, cool. This is such good music for this. Actually, I will be using the HUD a light bit here. Just so I can actually see if how hidden I am. Or yeah, from you probably. Does he really care that much about what I'm doing? It looks like he looked right at me. We're being all sneaky and stuffy.
actually, we're gonna fall up here. Okay. So, we have followed Golemai to his little workplace here, but unfortunately, we'll have to continue following him next time because we've been going for a bit here. Hopefully we can figure out what he is hi really hiding from us. And then we can help our guild get a little bit more ahead of its own demise, it seems, is, is what's coming. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, leave a comment of what you enjoyed about this episode, and give it a like because likes are good uh, I do appreciate any views that get that this gets and thank you all for watching I will see you next time 